So in this video, I showed you how to enable the gameplay message subsystem plugin, how to get it from Lyra project and how to enable it in your project and then how to use it within blueprints. Uh, so today we are going to see how to use it with C++ and how to send a gameplay message from the C++ side and then we will listen to it from the blueprint uh, HUD widget blueprint. Okay, so first let's go to our C++ project and here if I expand this section plugins, I only see top down utilities but I have already let me just close this project and if I go to my project folder here under plugins I have already copied this gameplay message router but it's not showing up in the project because I haven't refreshed the Visual Studio project so let me refresh it and now if I reopen the Visual Studio project I should see the plugin here yeah see now it's there all right so now in my layer state I'm going to add a new function a blueprint callable function let's call it white from resource update or changed here let's add a simple ue log the bounds changed now if i go to the blueprint side i can show you how did i send the message so here we get the gameplay message subsystem and we use this tag gameplay tag to define the channel and then we created this uh, structure custom data structure test message and we pass it here and we use the broadcast message node to send the message so this is the same thing we are doing we are going to do but in c++ so first thing is we need to use the gameplay tag so we can use f game Let's call it a uh, resource tag. Let's call it message tag. In the tag, I won't use the same tag, so let me copy this. And then we need to have a custom data structure. So let's define one. I think I'll define it the same is a data header file yeah here yeah, let's add a new new struct blueprint type let's call it resource message okay. and here all I need is an array of gameplay attributes okay. let's call it resource attributes and we got an error because we need to use this header file and this should be a blueprint type also it's the simple from the blueprints without any problem and edit it okay um, now we can use this to send our message so here we include the resource data header file Okay, 
search resource message and now i need to get all the attributes into resource attributes array that i defined here so attribute resource attributes all resource attributes and here I'll put resource message resource attributes and then from the ability system component that we have created here get all get all attributes of this now this will be filled with all the attributes that we have in the gameplay ability system component this is message tag resource updated and this is this part is create the message to send to broadcast then now we need to access the message subsystem gameplay message subsystem so for that we can use you gameplay message. it's not showing up because we need to use first we need to include the module that contains gameplay message subsystem into the build.cs file of our top down utilities plugin now if i open the gameplay message router you plugin here you can see two modules gameplay message runtime and gameplay message nodes so i think this is the module that contains the subsystem you can check it game play message subsystem on the game framework okay so I'll include this in the build.cs file of our plugin okay. here you can use Framework Stage Not showing up yeah. So this is the header file but it shows as an er error because even though i updated the build.cs file it's not project is not refreshed so let me just close this and go here refresh okay, refreshed and reopen okay. now the error is gone now i should be able to access the subsystem you game play message subsystem right
right that way. Then this switch it off system. I think I need to use this. Okay. All should be good. Let's save everything and compile. You got an error. Gameplay attack. Okay, I think I need to. Gameplay attacks. Yeah. Yeah, all good. Successful. Now I just need to call this function from somewhere so uh, let me override begin play here define it so here i'll just call uh, on resource not changed all right now save everything yeah compile all good so if everything is working as expected first thing is i should see resource count changed warning let me play yeah this is ground changed so yeah i got this uh, struct type mismatch so yeah that is here I implemented a listener to that channel in my heart. Yeah. I'm listening to this resources updated channel in my WVP heart widget blueprint. So here I was using this S test message. Now I should use resource message type and this should give me an error because now the type is no longer valid so let me begin and then here let's run a orange loop so we can cycle through all the attributes attribute values we get Here, let's just wait for the name. Oh, no. Okay, now if everything is working, see gold, stone, wood. I got all the name list here. This was count changed and the list went twice. Maybe I'm listening twice or in two places or oh, actually we can add a debug point here then we can play and here and we can check the payload so yeah, twice there twice there anyway it doesn't matter for this tutorial all i needed to show is how to send a gameplay message using C from a C++ function and it is working so this why am I seeing it twice that's not in this in the context of this uh, tutorial but we will fix that and properly use it to update our hard in the next episode so yeah thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye